What's up, YouTube? Thank you guys for coming back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to take apart a regular house fan. It's a three-speed fan. This one is called Wind Machine. And the reason I'm going to take it out is because it's really dirty. And when a fan is really dirty, what happens? It doesn't have enough airflow. So anyways, it's very simple to take these fans apart and wash them and clean them. The only thing I do not recommend is do not remove the motor completely. You're going to need a vacuum to clean that part, okay? Uh, you could use water and stuff and, you know, pressure hose or something. But the way I do it is I take it apart. I take it to my sink. I go on ahead and I wash it with soap and water. And I end up using a little bit of that pressure. You know how you push a little button that comes out with a little pressure, the top button on the faucet? Well, anyways, that's how I do it. Okay, uh, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So we're going to take this wind machine apart. And what we're going to do first is the two sides right here. You're going to unscrew those all the way. All right. I'll get that right now. So you got those two. You pull this out. You take the fan out. Don't forget, you got to wash this too, okay? Then you have four screws, Phillips. You get a Phillips screwdriver. Unless you're one of those guys that like to use power tools for everything, you might rip with a new one, okay? So just letting you know. Go on ahead and grab a good old school screwdriver and take these screws out by hand. Just get it and twist. And you know when they come loose because you feel like a little skip or a little bounce on your screwdriver. And then you know that they're completely off. So you're going to have six screws in total to take this fan apart. And once those six screws come out, see that was one of them. That one jumped out by itself. I didn't even bring it up. You can't see that. That was just, it just popped out on his own. I said, okay, he want me out. Let me go ahead and get out. So you have four screws that actually hold the fan shut. So they're right here. Four screws. And then you have two screws up here on the handle that, that also hold the fan together, the, 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 two, the two sides, the front side and the back side. So these are smaller ones. These are like really tiny screws. So those six screws open up your fan. Then you gotta clip this out right here, the handle. Just grab it, pull, and pull. I'll get that in a little bit. It's hot. I'm sweating, sorry. Okay, so now that we have our fan unscrewed, it just comes off. It literally just comes off. The fan blades, they just come off. Just like that, they just slide up. When you put it back on, you notice that there's a tiny little flat side on the inside, as well as in the center nipple of the mortar. There's one little flat side, just make sure that matches up when you're putting it back. So, <clears throat> let me run ahead and show you this. Let me get close, I want you to see this. Now this is throughout the years of use. It's nothing that just new, but, can you see it? Okay, so see right here, like all this right here? Let me go ahead and get this off. See that? That right there, just hair. And all the buildup just around it. Let me show you the front one. Well, this one's actually cleaner than the one I just did. But like you see all this right here? All that right there? It, it, it stops the air from, from flowing through. So what you want to do is you want to get a vacuum. Wait, you see that? That, right there. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get a vacuum. Hey, luckily for me, I have one right here. It's going to get loud right now, so just giving you a heads up. I know if you don't have a vacuum of this size, I'm not asking you to go get one. Most house vacuums already come 
with the detachable hose and stuff like that. You know what I mean? The dirt devils have that a lot. So anyways, you want to get a... Yeah, see? This is a really expensive, really expensive vacuum. And it's sad to find out right now that I need it. I don't have one of those ends that have the little bristles. But the house vacuum has it. So let's run ahead and clean this up. So I'm going to use the vacuum to vacuum all the little buildup that it has. Then I'm going to go inside and wash it with soap and water. I'll be right back after this, okay? Before I go put soap and water, I'm going to just show you guys how easy it actually comes off when you vacuum it, okay? Now, like I said, I have a very powerful vacuum. I really feel it's a nice one. I really love it. It does a lot for me. Now, the buildup, let me see. Okay, right here. So it's going to get loud, and I apologize. To that is exactly what you would do at home but uh, I mean with your vacuum the only difference is if you use the house vacuum you have the little bristles so it will, it will actually help a whole lot more than just having something better like this anyways I'm gonna finish I'm gonna finish doing the vacuum part and then I'm gonna go inside and wash I'll show you guys how I wash it what I do and how I do it so I'll be right back Okay, so now we're right here by the sink. This is what I'm talking about, about that button on the top that makes it come out a little bit stronger. So I have the one with the mortar. You can take the mortar off if you want, but it's just going to hang there. You have two screws, that one and this one. Those are the two screws that you take off, and the whole piece comes out, and it'll just dangle there and kind of be out of your way. But you don't need to take it off if you're going to be careful. And what I mean by careful is just don't wet the mortar. So you turn the water on, you push it, and as you can see, it just automatically just drops everything off. It just knocks it all down. Look at that. Fans do get dirt. They do get dirty. They do get dusty. And the thing about it is, it doesn't get dirty to the point where the dirt is like super stuck to it. So it comes off, you know, fairly easy. And then you just spin it and make sure you keep getting everything. And just keep spinning it in circles. If you don't have a, a big enough sink or a, or a faucet that comes out like this and, you know, shoots the water with a little bit of pressure, that's fine. If you have access to a water hose, you can take it outside. Honestly, I would really prefer that. And then uh, flip it to the other side and do the same thing on the other side. Right here, you might need to scrub it a little. That's where the rag comes in. And the reason is because this is where all the sticky stuff really goes through. So the hardest thing that you're going to have to clean is the, the fan blades. The fan blades in the back of the fan. I mean, it's not that hard, but that, that'll be like the hardest thing that you have. And it's just a quick, you know, a quick scrub down like that. Just smack the water off a little. We're going to set this aside. We're going to grab this one. As you can see, the condition is almost the same. If not better, then it's worst. And again, you see how the dirt is just going to come off the dirt. So it's not like you have to do a whole lot of crazy scrubbing, but like I said, the front one, it is going to be a little bit harder than the rear because that's where it pushes everything out. 
So once you got this going like this, all you have to remember is where your screws go. So let me go on ahead and finish this up and I'll get back to you guys and help you guys put it right back together. Okay, so as you can see this one, I am scrubbing it down with soap and water and I'm being like a little careless about where the water and soap go because honestly there's no motor on it. So, But I scrubbed the whole backside really good as best as I could. So I'm just getting the rim and Just scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. Okay, so now I'm gonna rinse it. And you guys can see that the dirt's still coming off. And this, you know, cleaning your fan like this, honestly, it helps the airflow of your fan. And not only that, but of course, it's just clean and it looks really nice. You know, not like I have anyone to impress, but still. So now that that one's done, I'm going to smack the water off a little bit. that aside and here goes the fan blade now the fan blade is the one that you really want to scrub because this one's just not going to come off this is where everything gets stuck at okay so this is the one you do want to scrub see the back side right there this is bad the fan gets beat up really really bad so I'm going to wash the fan now of course I'm going to scrub it we got some palm olive right here and I'm going to put some under and scrub it in. See you guys when it's time to put it together. Okay, so now we're going to put the fan together. As you can see, the fan blades are clean, back and front. I scrubbed them, you know, and uh, rinsed them, did everything I was supposed to do. So now, in order to put the fan blades back, don't forget, you do have a flat side. Now, on this on this wind machine, the flat side is where the little hole is at on the, on the actual blades. So I already know if I face that upward, it'll fall right into place. Now, to go on ahead and piece everything back together, we have four screws. All right, we have four screws to put in there on the sides, and then we have an additional two screws to put in there for the handle. Okay, so you put your screws. You know, and a lot of people, they go out, you know, they see the fan really dirty and, and um, they don't like it. So what they'll do is they'll go out and buy one. I mean, okay, you look for that back part. I probably dropped it over there. So a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll go out and buy one. Well, me, I don't have money like that. I mean, I gotta try to fix everything first. And if by all means I can't, then I'll go on ahead and buy something new. Other than that, I'll take it apart, clean it, try to fix it. If I gotta order a small part that's gonna cost me five bucks, instead of, instead of buying a new one for 30, 40 bucks, you better believe I'm gonna spend five bucks first. Now, this is the handle. The handle only goes on one way, so you'll notice it. Oh, it's right here. I, I, I asked him to go look for this piece, and it's right here. Uh, the handle only goes one way, so you can't get it wrong. If you do, then uh, I don't know what to say about that. But And uh, the bottom part. We're just gonna wipe it down. It's not as dirty as I thought it was. We're gonna put these ends back on right here. Oh no, that goes on after. Okay, this is what tightens up the, the bottom. Beautiful, that goes like that. So this is just dust that sits on here. 
get you a wet rag and you just wipe it down. No soap needed, no nothing, just wipe it down, wipe the edges down. If you want to wipe the outside and the bottom down, up to you. But this one does not affect anything as far as the airflow goes. I'm going to go ahead and put that back on. Twist the ends back on. And now your fag is looking like new again. See that? And that is how you clean a three-speed wind machine fan. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that by showing you how to clean the fan instead of going out and buying a new one, I hope I just showed you guys uh, how to save some money. Uh, of course, my videos, that's what they're all about, is saving money. If you guys like what you see, of course, you can go to my bio. And uh, there's a donation button right there. You guys want to help out with anything, I really appreciate it. You don't have to, but if you do, thank you. Well, till next time, God bless, and I'll see you guys soon. That's Can Do It TV, and don't forget, I'm Bomber.